When you consider that most vegetables urban Indians eat regularly, potato, cauliflower, cabbage, chilies, tomato, capsicum, French beans, carrot, were all introduced by the British or Portuguese to India and began to be cultivated widely only in the last 150 years. So it's worth asking the question, what vegetables did we eat before colonization? Food history is complicated, but some ways to appreciate what people might have eaten a thousand years ago is to look at recipes cooked in rituals for ancestors, dishes cooked in very old temples, and food eaten by the poor in very remote villages. This is what my family cooks once a year for ancestors. The recipes have remained unchanged for a long time. But remember, before trains, roads and vehicles, all food was necessarily highly local. So it would have varied tremendously every 100 kilometers. So this is merely one example from one region. It features a raita with grated coconut, a payasam with moong dal, which is local to Tamil Nadu, sweet and sour pachadi with mango, lime and ginger pickle, raw banana and fried bitter gourd, banana stem, sesame rounds, vada from urad dal, milk khoa, chutney made from curry leaves and a sambar that does not feature tomatoes or chilies. So all gourds, colocasia, yams, every part of the banana, coconut, no potato or carrots. On a lighter note, it's all the vegetables kids will not eat. The spice flavoring for all of this is entirely ginger, turmeric, black pepper and long pepper, which is quite hot. So go speak to your grandparents and ask them what vegetables their grandparents ate.